top killers. It's on EM crit, it's all over the place, and it is really important to consider these things when you're looking at whether it's going to be a difficult intubation. So these are physiological reasons why intubation will be challenging. So HOP, H-O-P, the H stands for hypotension. If the patient is hypotensive, all of the drugs we give them are going to drop their blood pressure. The paralytic drops the blood pressure. The sedation drops the blood pressure. The analgesia drops the blood pressure. I mean, unless you're using ketamine, but still, even if the patient is pumping full force catecholamines, ketamine can still drop blood pressures. So H is hypotension. It's going to give you a complicated RSI. The O is oxygen. So hypoxia. If the patient is hypoxic, you are going to have a really hard time intubating them because if they're sitting on sats of 90 and you paralyze them, you're going to have a really hard time to oxygenate them, which can lead to cardiac arrest. And the HOP, P stands for pH, people who are in a metabolic or respiratory acidosis. How do we tell this? Well, I have also made a video about this. Um, you'll see a link up here or somewhere. And what this means is that if the patient is in a respiratory acidosis, so they're not able to breathe out enough carbon dioxide, or they are in a metabolic acidosis due to maybe DKA or whatever else is going on, maybe um, a poisoning or overdose, you will have a metabolic acidosis. And the most likely thing for you to see is they will be breathing very, very quickly. So they'll be breathing at, breathing at a rate of like 40 or 50 and you can't really see anything wrong, like their air, their air entry is good, their breathing is good, their lungs are clear, but they're running at a very high um, tidal volume, then you probably have um, a patient who is in a, a metabolic acidosis. The same thing goes along with um, sepsis. This is a very complicated, very risky intubation, and we should always be considering hypertension, hypoxia or the lack of oxygen, HO, oxygen, and then P is your pH. Always just consider these things, um, you know, we obviously need to look at like how big the jaw is and the spacing and, you know, can you fit three fingers in the mouth and like, do we think it's going to be a difficult intubation because they're obese or do we think it's going to be challenging because they're hypoxic, they're hypotensive and they're probably septic. So yeah, uh, next time you jump into an RSI or an intubation, just remember these things. Hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please hit like and subscribe. Any comments, just drop them down below. And yeah, if you guys have ever had a really challenging um, uh, patient who you've had to intubate and it all turned out quite well and you thought it would be quite um, challenging because you because uh, you assessed it to be difficult or maybe if you had a patient who you were going to intubate but you stopped because you were like you know this is actually too risky to do right now please let me know down at the bottom i'd love to chat about it and get what you guys think and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video